another vendor sent me this. It's the Autofix OM129 OBD2. Um, um, basically, this scanner is really nice. It actually comes with a. It actually comes with a case also. Case cover to cover it. So basically, what I'm gonna do is, um, right now I'm in my BMW. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, plug it into the OBD2 port here. This is the OBD2 connector that it comes with that it's connected to the, the top of the device so all you do is plug it in the obd2 you plug it into your obd2 port and it'll automatically boot on the device so basically this device it has obd2 it can scan for codes it can tell you i am readiness is basically uh if you'll pass inspection uh it'll tell you this one can actually test battery voltage also so instead of having to buy another uh machine for scanning your battery to test your battery voltage and things like that this one has it built in um so basically i'm gonna go through everything you know one by one just to show you guys so uh basically it's going to scan the systems in the car and uh, you click on enter to scan. So then you'll see it says read codes, erase codes, I am readiness, data stream. Data stream is basically, it shows you spark plug advance, uh, ignition, timing, different things like that. Um, this device also has an EVAP system test. So it tests the EVAP system to, uh, in case you have any problems with your EVAP, your EVAP system or like say like with you know a lot of Acura's the purge valve this will test the system and let you know if um your uh, system is operating properly so basically when you're reading codes you just hit enter you hit current so current codes is the codes that are currently on the vehicle pending codes are pending meaning um those are currently the codes that are pending um in the vehicle and then permanent codes are like permanent codes that you can't erase like they'll come right back so uh i'm gonna scan the current dc dtcs but this vehicle has no codes because i do all the work on it and it doesn't have any issues or any problems and has no check engine light or anything like that so the bmw is good um i am readiness is basically like i said is emissions it tells you last time um codes were erased on the vehicle and it tells you about the drive cycle that you were actually on that you're actually driving when you drive the vehicle it tells you about your actual drive cycle like how it was and everything um data stream like i said it shows you i'm going to click on all items so basically it's going to go to uh, all the items on the data stream so so showing your fuel system showing your load um etc shift it's showing your spark events your map sensor uh your intake temperature map sensor input it, it shows a lot of different things but you got to know what you're looking for because if you don't then you're not gonna know so freeze frame is basically where you can freeze the actual frame um of what you're doing and it has an o2 sensor test where it can actually test your o2 sensors this car that i have now this bmw it has two o2 sensors um basically it has a bank one and a bank two sensor so with this this scanner you can test your o2 sensors to see if they're still good so you see it says uh and it's within limit and it says the status pass so if you have bad o2 sensors or you think you have a bad O2 sensor, this one will definitely tell you if you have a bad O2 sensor. So you click on this and it says status passed. That means the O2 sensors are good, passed. So instead of having to go through the whole process where you gotta, you know, test in to find out exactly, oh, is the O2 sensor going bad? This will tell you exactly if it's bad or not, or if it's going bad. So like I said, it passed both passed so both of the o2 sensors are good um onboard monitoring uh it doesn't work for this vehicle evap test it does work for some vehicles but it doesn't work for this one um then it shows you the vehicle information like the vent and everything um so now i'm going back to this will tell you if you'll pass inspection so this is definitely uh all the things that are checked off meaning that these are the things that need to be correct on the vehicle when you're doing it it's when the vehicle is getting inspected if any of the these things fail then that means you're gonna fail inspection. So that's definitely a great thing. So then we have the battery where you can actually check the battery voltage, but the car has to be off in order to do that. So I'm not really gonna go through that whole showing how to battery check, but if you purchase one of these, the link will be down there in the description or it'll be, I'll put it in my Amazon store in the equipment section. Uh, 
that contested battery and things like that. So the DTC lookup, instead of going online to look up the codes, like say if you get a code and it's P1068910 or P022 or P0224, this actually allows you to put in the code and um, this will actually tell you what the code is. It's pretty cool, but uh, well, that's not a fault code. That's just some code I, I came up with. So let me see, four, Famous code. Let me see what comes up for this one. Yeah, catalyst uh, system efficiency below threshold. So that's a catalyst converter code. Um, review is basically going over the DTCs that you have. If, like, say, if you stored them to the device, which you can store them, um, that you can review your old codes that you scanned for your vehicle, or you can delete the DTC data, meaning the codes um, that's saved into it, and then um, delete all other DTC data. Um, setup is basically just going through language, measure, beep, whether you want it to beep or not, record, feedback, and about the device. I honestly like the device. It's pretty fast. As you guys can see, it loads up pretty quickly when it comes to uh, troubleshooting your vehicle and giving you codes. But if you want a nice, durable device that you can take with you on a regular basis and have in your vehicle, um, this one does it. This one's good. I think it works great, and it doesn't slow down as you use it, and it works great. Um, if you guys have, and they do, they have quick buttons here where you can go to the IM. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's cool. So they have quick buttons that you can get to and then exit and enter. This is how you go to different menus. You just hit enter. This is what takes you into the menus. Okay. So, um, this is my review on the OM uh, 129, the auto fix. If you guys have any, um, questions, feel free to ask them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and comment. Peace. Thanks.